All right, let's take a closer look at this Kiwitz HT206D clamp meter. I have the batteries installed, came with the batteries, which is great. They screw down, very nice. So we are ready to go. So let's talk about some of the different buttons and then we'll actually talk about some of the different functions and how they work. First off, just to turn it on, you just wanna go ahead and turn the dial to whatever setting you're looking at or you want to do, okay? And then if you remember, you can turn it off. If you accidentally leave it on, after 15 minutes of non-use, it will go ahead and shut itself off. Now let's talk about some of these other buttons down here. Short press this button and you will get a backlit light on the display, okay? Short press it again, it'll turn off. Long press or hold for two seconds, you will turn on your front LED. Long press again, you'll turn it off. You have your max min setting so you can see on the screen there max or min so it'll go ahead and range based on that and then you the z slash f is your function button that's going to adjust between your functions and again we'll, we'll touch on that more when we're in different settings this button over here is your non-contact voltage button so if you go ahead and push and hold that you see the non-contact ncv shows up we'll go ahead and push that make it stop beeping Okay, so that kind of gives you a rundown of all the buttons. Now, let's go ahead and let's go look at the different features, right? So first off, you've got your um, AC voltage feature, right? So how do you do that? Well, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna turn your setting to either the 600 or the 60, whichever you're looking to measure. And then you're gonna see right here that we're in DC. If you hit the function button, switches to AC okay you can see that there all right we hit it again now we're in Hertz and then we're in AC low pass filter so that's how that works for AC DC okay that's for current measurements if you're doing current um, you know another thing when you're clamping this is just made to clamp the one wire if you clamp the two wires they cancel each other out you're not going to get any reading that's going to matter okay so now, if we want to measure voltage, you switch to voltage, and then again, you can press the ZF function to go between DC and AC, and hertz, and low pass filter, okay? So that's how you do voltage measurement with it on voltage. Then um, you can go to hertz percentage, which is your uh, frequency or duty cycle measurements. So again, you hit the ZF until you get to that percent key, and then you can go ahead and measure that. And how you do that is you would attach your probes here and you would make sure that you connect them to the right sockets. Your black is gonna go to your comm and your red is gonna go to your input when you are gonna be measuring frequency or um, duty cycle measurements, all right? Next, let's talk about resistance measurements. So if we go to resistance, that means you turn it to here, okay? And we wanna make sure that it has the resistance symbol on there, and it does. So then we're gonna go ahead and again, the, the black would go into the comm and the red would go into the input. And that's how you could measure your resistance, okay? So we've got a couple more features left. Let's go over those. Continuity test. So to do your continuity test, we're just gonna hit the ZF function until that symbol up there comes on, okay? So we've got that symbol there. We can go ahead and do our continuity test. So the black test lead is gonna go back into the comm and the red is going to go into your, um, into your input again, and you can get your continuity test done. So, all right, if we do capacitance measurement, same kind of thing. We're just gonna go ahead, function through. All right, now we're down for capacitance measurement. All right. And again, black test lead to COM, red test lead to input as well there. Okay, 
Lastly, if we go to diode test, one more switch. Now you can see the symbol up there. We're in diode test, okay? So you are ready to check that. It's gonna be another, you're just gonna connect the black again to your comm and the red to your input, and then you can go ahead and do your diode testing from there, all right? So that can be used for distinguishing the anode side and cathode side of a diode. So last or almost last, we're at the Celsius and Fahrenheit temperature management, pretty straightforward. That's when you would go ahead and use this instead, your thermocouple probe, right? So the black probe going into the comm, pretty consistent here. And you can see that it's measuring the temperature and this is just air temperature right now basically because I just have it held up. If you wanna switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius, just use the little ZF function again, your function key, it's gonna switch it back and forth and then you see there's just a slight delay. So very easy to use the temperature management or temperature measurement function for sure. All right, so that kind of goes through all the different options that you can use on the Kiwitz HT206D clamp meter. This is the AC-DC meter, has both AC and DC, which I showed you. So a uh, great full-featured clamp meter that allows you to do pretty much all the measurements that you would need to and then some. So whether you're just a DIY person or you're more technical person or a lab person, this should function for you. So it, you also get, like I said, a nice case. It's always nice to have a case, keep everything in, keep everything organized. I really like that. So check it out, Kiwitz HT206D.